Hello and welcome to the Teaching Test Kitchen. Have you heard of this awesome new AI tool called Napkin? As of right now, it's free. It is in a beta. But let me show it to you because I find it really helpful. So what is it? It's going to turn text prompts into visual content. Step one will be for you to go to napkin.ai and create an account. Right now, it's free, so we cannot beat that. And what this tool allows you to do is take your text and turn it into what I think are beautiful visuals, clear and concise visuals. So once you're logged in, when you click on a new napkin, the options are one, draft with AI, and two, draft a blank napkin. So let's start with generating one with AI. You're probably familiar with how to do some prompts, but let's just go with a lesson I taught today, types of internet trolls. This was for my social media class. So it takes a few seconds, but it's giving us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different kinds of trolls. Now it's got paragraphs and you see this little lightning bolt in the corner here. That's the prompt to generate visuals from the section you've selected. But let's say we want to generate a visual from all of the content. You select all of the content and now you get one lightning bolt here to generate the visuals. Click on that and let's see what it comes up with. Scroll down to the bottom. You get a little menu on the left hand side and then the preview of the visual on the right. So it creates so many different styles as you can see. Pick the one that fits your vibe, your students, what you're looking for. I think something like this can work well. This one gets a little bit text heavy. You see how here we've got content bleeding into other sections. If we stick with something fairly basic and easy to understand like this colorful one, then you have options within that as well by clicking on styles within that section. You can have this style or this style. So it's either no descriptive text or some descriptive text. But let's say we want to share a little bit of descriptive text. You click on it, it now becomes an image on your napkin, right? You've got this visual, it's got its own square. Then here there's this little menu to download. It's called export. You could also change background colors, change the aspect ratio or change the style. So you have a mini menu once you've selected that napkin to make even further adjustments. Honestly, I think this is such a fantastic tool. Then you have a different menu along the bottom here, Spark Search. Let's see, what is Spark Search? I think that's for searching for different shapes. So let's say I wanted to find a star. I click star. Okay, so this is like an icon finder. You star or two stars. So I will stamp that and then that gets added on there. Then can I delete it? Yes, you can delete that. Next option is a label. So if you wanted to add something, you can label it. So adding some text on there and then a sketch or a pen tool so you can draw on this okay and it does have different shapes that you can plop on there as well and the last one is to add an image so you can upload an image drag or drop or copy and paste from anywhere as well so it has even more functionality within this and then pressing escape key gets you out of that so i'm just noticing i can delete i can delete the elements that i sketched in there and then i can also go in here and delete things within it so there's a lot of customization options within this one. Let me show you how I built one from scratch. When you build, remember it was new napkin and you create blank napkin rather than one with drafting with AI. So this is my account. Let's go to my library. Now I created one for my public speaking class and I wanna tell you a mistake I made. First is I put in a lot of content, a lot of words and a lot of subtopics within that. So no need to do that. And I realize I have a major typo in here. What else is new? So I had all these different sections of the rubric that I wanted to remind my students as they were preparing for their live shows. I found that this made it too convoluted. So in my second attempt, I actually only added the names of the sections. So I select that, click to create visual. This is the final visual I landed on is the different sections, the title of it and just a one by one so I can send this to my students as a visual reminder to help them prepare for their content. So I am curious how you're gonna use napkin AI tool, but I think it's great. And like the site says here, get visuals from your text. So please enjoy, especially while it's free. I hope 
that it stays free. Hope you enjoy using Napkin AI. Feel free to test it out, experiment, use it for your own classes, and comment in this video and let me know how you used it, how you enjoyed it. So far, I really, really like it, and I look forward to making more visuals with it. See you next time. Keep learning, inspiring, and teaching with love.